Okay. Another one. Now, this, this is over the counter. This is a nutraceutical, omega-3 fatty acids. Commonly used in canine arthritis and in atopy again. Now, probably there's more data to support a benefit in DJD and arthritis than there is in atopy. Okay. Now, if you look on a bottle of omega-3 fatty acids, they'll talk about these two fatty acids. These are the main omega-3s that are used, and particularly, we typically want a high content of EPA. All right. And being nutraceuticals, these are not approved drugs, and there are no regulations, so they tend to vary uh, tremendously in their EPA content. And there have been a few studies now that we do at least have some recommendations of how much EPA uh, the, should be used if we're trying for an antipyritic, antiarthritic effect. And the reason I mention it is uh, there's some products where one pill is sufficient, whereas you'd have to give like five pills of something else. All right, so when you're buying your EPA, uh, pay attention to the content of it. Uh, typically, you want the more concentrated products to make dosing uh, more easily. Again, we're not sure, but we think, again, normally uh, membranes have mostly omega-6s. And omega-6s are things like corn oil, all that sort of thing, or supplements. And they're great for dry, scaly skin. I mean, if you have a dog that has a lot of eczema, you can put a little corn uh, oil or something in that, and perhaps the, the flakiness will get better, you know, the so-called shiny hair coat. But omega-6s do enter the arachidonic acid cascade. So we're trying to instead squeak in these omega-3s so that when uh, the cell membrane is injured, we don't get the pro-inflammatory uh, properties that the omega-6s causes. Oh, and by the way, that, that takes some time. Uh, you can't just put them on omega-3s and have a benefit. You were talking about weeks of therapy before you see a benefit. And if you're going to do allergy testing, they also want them to come off for several weeks before you do allergy testing. All right. Now this again, um, just for completeness, I had lipoxygenase inhibitors, but I had no drug mentioned there. We used to use a lipoxygenase inhibitor. One was approved called Zubrin. Uh, to treat um, DJD or arthritis in dogs. And it worked really well. Uh, it was kind of cool. Um, it, it was in a fast dissolved tablet, so you just put it in their mouth and hold their mouth shut and you didn't have to poke it down. Uh, but unfortunately, that wasn't enough to, to get enough market share, so it was removed, not because it had any problems, uh, but because of poor sales. Uh, <coughs> It should have been uh, an ad additional anti-inflammatory by blocking that pathway, but it was only approved for pain from arthritis. No studies really uh, were done to uh, substantiate the anti-inflammatory effect. There are things out there for human medicine. Singular is one you may recognize for asthma and seasonal allergies as leukotriene inhibitors. Okay, so I'm passed.